gentlemen, I am honored to introduce the president of the American Mathematical Society. <laughs> And I know, oh, I know 
the media is going to make a big stink about it. They hate me, the media. I see you reporters over there from the notices of the American Math Society. <laughs> it's a rag, a dish rag. And there, right there, the mathematical intelligencer, they've had it in from me from day one. And the bulletin, full of fake proofs. Corrupt and disgusting, a lot of them. Awful people. Awful people. <laughs> What else are we going to do? With regard to papers, too many times you people have worked very hard on a paper and you submitted it to a journal and had it rejected because some referee decided it was wrong. <laughs> they say there's an obvious counterexample to your main theorem. Well, people, that won't happen anymore. The referee system is finished, completely finished. From now on, if you submit a paper, it will be automatically accepted! <laughs> and tenure, from now on, you want tenure, you got it! <laughs> That's right. Nobody else is going to judge you and decide whether or not you live up to their fake standards. From now on, it's your decision. Don't thank me. No, wait, do thank me! <laughs> and at the small colleges, some universities, it's horrible there. High teaching loads, high enrollments, nobody wants to live like that. And when I was running for president, I said that, and those people, the people at those colleges, they voted for me. They love me there. I got more votes from them than any other president. In fact, I got more votes overall than any president in the history of the AMS. I just know that somehow. It's not important now. Trust me, I have a proof. <laughs> and when people say that I won because the voting system was hacked, hacked by the Canadian Mathematical Society, <laughs> well, that's just nonsense. And the people who say that are stupid. That's right. The Ethics Committee of the American Math Society is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> with the Canadians. I understand them. We think alike. The Canadian Mass Society and the American Mass Society can work together. But I don't think, I don't think I won't be tough. I'm a tough guy. If they don't give the Fields Medal to Americans, well, they're going to regret it. <laughs> now, about my curriculum vita. Some people say, bad people, they tried to get me to release my CV. But I'm not going to do it. There's no rule that says I have to release my CD. That CD is my business and no one else's. Now, you know I don't get along with the previous president of the American Mathematical Society, our dear friend, Ken Rivet. Uh, him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. I said it before and I'll say it again. He did not have the credentials to be the president of the AMS. He says otherwise, and sure, he produced a diploma to prove it. But his Harvard degree is as phony as a $2 bill. Harvard's just a glorified <laughs> diploma mill. Believe me, I know how this works. Rivet was a lousy president, one of the lousiest we've ever had. He put into place bad programs, programs that cost a lot of money and that don't help people, people like you. And I think you know what the worst one was. You know what I'm going to say. Rivet care. <laughs> That's right, Rivet care. A program to provide math help to everyone, whether they want it or not. <laughs> well, that ends today. From now on, only people who deserve math help will be able to get it. People who've already proved that they don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as you know, during the campaign, I made some promises about building a wall. And I'm going to keep those promises. Uh, we are going to build that wall, a wall that will separate the American Math Society office in Washington, D.C. at 1527 18th Street from the Mathematical Association of America <laughs> at 1529 18th Street. We will keep the members of the AMS out of our offices. We don't want them coming over. We, they're bad people, drinking our coffee, stealing our paper clips. And you know what? We're gonna make them pay for the wall. 
Now, in addition to being the president of the AMS, which I am very good at, by the way, I'm also the greatest living mathematician who has ever lived. <laughs> My new proof of the law of signs is the best proof ever. Just ask Mrs. Snyderman. <laughs> now, there's a lot of people, people who disgust me, that have said I didn't give them credit in my papers, that I took their results and said they were mine. But how could that happen? I am the greatest mathematician who's ever lived. Why would I steal results? It makes no sense. <laughs> and the people who say I have lost it, who say I am mentally unstable, that I am nowhere differentiable, <laughs> or my manifold is no longer second countable, <laughs> or I've misplaced my axioms. Do I look like someone who has misplaced his axioms? No. And what about the American Mathematical Society? The American Mathematical Society was once a great institution, an important institution, but not any longer. Why? because we made the mistake of letting anyone in. You pay your dues and you're a member. Well, that stops today. First of all, no more reciprocity agreements with foreign mass societies, that's over. That's just other organizations taking advantage of us. From now on, it is AMS first. From now on, if you want to be a member, you have to get permission from me or from one of my family members. <laughs> but if you have a lot of money, it won't be hard to get permission. <laughs> and by the way, the AMS Centennial Fellowship is going to my son-in-law. That's not nepotism because he's very good at mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> and what about all those regulations? They're slowing down math. We're scaling back the regulations. You don't need to be so rigorous anymore. We've overdone it on the rigor. If we cut back on the rigor, we can get more theorems proved. <laughs> more theorems means math is bigger and better. Make math great again. <laughs> yes, and we're changing another rule, too. From now on, presidents of the AMS can be re-elected. <laughs> and since I am the greatest president in the history of the AMS, I will keep getting elected year after year with bigger and bigger margins of victory. Yes, some losers said my derivative was very small, but trust me, my derivative is very positive and growing all the time. <laughs> I calculated it myself and it's huge. <laughs> and as we go forward, the number of votes I get will approach infinity. It is going to be a great time for mathematics. The greatest time for mathematics ever! Thank you!